news story today blew me away because Miles Teller, you know yeah. who that is? From Whiplash. He's from the movie Whiplash. But other than that, I feel like not a lot of people know who he is. You have to remind people and say, oh, he's the kid from or he's the guy from. Yeah, I don't know who he is. So, you know, that's not the surprising thing to me. He came down with COVID. Not surprising because I don't know who the guy is. Right. But the the headline is Miles Teller shuts down production of the Godfather series after testing positive for COVID. That's right. Hold on. Time out. Godfather series? <laughs> what? Oh, that, I love it. That's what you're the most interested in. I had no idea. They're making a Godfather series? Yeah. Uh-huh. Why is this now the first time I'm hearing it? Because this this kid's got COVID. I, I I've known I've heard nothing about this. Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. Okay, you're talking about a, a TV miniseries called The Offer. Okay, I, I don't think you know who Juno Temple is, but she's in it with him. So it's Miles Teller is like the the lead dude in it, and it's um one of the people from the original Godfather of 1972 who I think is producing it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's a biographical miniseries for Paramount. I think it's about the making of The Godfather, but it's a it's a it's a drama. Giovanni Ribisi is in it. Yeah, I'm um, there. I mean, you don't have to sell yeah. it to me anymore. Oh, okay, you okay. Just say Godfather <laughs> series, and I'm there. I now I want to know what network is it going to be on. You can't tease me like this. You have to tell me when it's coming out. Okay, so it's going to be on Paramount Plus. Oh, dear God. Now I got to buy that freaking service. You got to buy that freaking service. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. And I don't know exactly when it's coming out right now. They don't I don't think they have a release date yet because they're just shooting it. But here's the inexplicable thing about it. As somebody who is still doing background work for some bizarre reason, I just did something last week. Um, the reason why I'm doing background work is because they now have something they're doing called Zone A acting only. And Zone A in the world of uh, Hollywood, I guess, and, and union, it's really, it's really a SAG after thing, means you've been vaccinated. You cannot even audition for something if you have not been vaccinated. You can't come on a set. You won't even be considered for something unless you've been vaccinated. In fact, it was just found out some big Broadway star named Lauren Osney's they found out that not only was she not vaccinated, but she's an anti-vaxxer. She had been cast in two things. She was fired from both of them because she was unvaccinated. One of them, she actually find her own replacement, which is so weird. But um, yeah, because that is it is really a big thing in the world of Hollywood and Broadway and television and film. You must be vaccinated. Not only are you vaccinated, but you have to be covid tested every two days. So if you're working, if you're working four days on a shoot, you've got to be COVID tested four times. Is it the the, the nose thing? Yeah. You got to get the nose thing every two days. They don't do the one that goes all the way up into your brain. They do one that's like a, I forget what they call it, but it's just, they just take a, I've had it done a bunch of times on, on sets now. They just take a Q-tip swab, the swab, and mm. they just rub it around inside your nostril. It's not it's not all the way up in your brain. They just okay. rub it, rub it one nostril, rub it the other nostril, and then you wait a day. And then if you get your test back, then you can show up on set. Mm. The, th- the Miles Teller thing that is really perplexing to me is that he's not vaccinated. He refuses to get vaccinated and he refuses to get a covid test. So how is it that they're allowing him to show up on set at all? Mm hmm. I'm guessing he was cast in this and signed his contract before COVID and before all this stuff was in place. That's my only guess, which is why they're stuck with him. So he he contracts the Delta variant. He, he contracts COVID and comes to work, shows up at work sick, and he infects the entire set. If, if, if you ruin the series The Godfather and it, it doesn't come out, for me, I'm going to be very upset with you, <laughs> guy I've never heard of. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be very upset. Yeah, and what you do is whenever you hear these stories, the first thing you do is you go to Twitter and you go to the person's Twitter account. And if they're smart, 
they'll deactivate their Twitter account or they'll, I don't know, they'll, they'll do something so that you can't comment. Mm-hmm. Uh, not Miles Teller. He did not do that. So if you go, you can read all the comments. Heard you expose an entire production team to COVID, you fart. <laughs> Somebody else said, the production of your film was shut down for two weeks from your refusal to get the vaccine. Actually got COVID and exposed everyone on the set. You have 14 days to think about what you wish for when you grow up. It won't be acting in Hollywood movies because nobody will work with you again. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that are getting on him because here's the thing. A lot of the people who are on the set, it's not just the actors. Remember, it's the people who do craft services. It's hair and makeup. It's the people who bring the trucks in. It's the boom guy. It's the guy holding the the camera. It's the second key grip. Exactly. It's the editors afterwards. I mean, you're employing dozens of people, depending on the the size of the production, you know, potentially like 100 people are working now because of you, the star. Now that you have covid and you've brought it to the set, not only have you gotten people sick and affected their livelihood, they can't work for two weeks. And a lot of these people, it's not pay or play. If they don't work, they don't get paid. Well, I think you're just losing your touch because you have to follow things to keep me alive. So you know that Halloween is coming up, so I'm going to not die until Halloween is here. Right. You know the Many Saints of Newark is coming out, so that's giving me a a reason to live. Right, And you you knew about this Godfather TV series that would have kept me alive wanting to live longer, but you didn't tell me. There's okay. little is the, things is the, I look Is the Mini Saints thing the thing that uh, Gandolfini's son is in? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. That I knew you knew about. The reason I didn't tell you about this is because it's not getting good pre buzz. Nobody knows who Miles is. It Teller doesn't matter. Is. It's the Godfather series. It's little All things right. in my life that I look forward to. I don't have much to look forward to. There's nothing for me to look forward to except hmm. for these things. And now I have pumpkin beer, pumpkin stuff. I got pumpkin granola downstairs now too. And then the Godfather things. All right. So when, when the offer comes out, I will tell you all about the offer and maybe what you'll do is you'll get Paramount plus for that one month. You'll binge it and then you'll cancel it. Yeah. Like Dexter. (laughs) I'm staying alive for Dexter. Right. (laughs) Just so I can see that. So there's little (laughs) things. It's you always hear about the guys who die when they, when they, uh, retire and like mm-hmm. they'll, they'll retire on a Thursday and you're dead by Friday because they got right. nothing to live for. <laughs> I got to have things in my life like Dexter and Halloween that keeps me going. Okay. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> I will, I will stay on that a little bit, a little bit more vigilantly for you.